Then we discussed his open letter to Elon Musk urging him to buy silver. Our solar clean energy future depends on it. There's not enough silver in the world to switch over to solar and green, but that won't stop the dreamers. Solar panels only last 10 years and need to be replaced. Windmills aren't lasting the 20 years as expected. Social media has distorted reality and brainwashed the masses. Everything nowadays is based upon emotion. Under the current technological conditions, our green energy future isn't going to happen now or in the future. Just wait for precious metals to realize their true value. We're here today to talk about a very interesting topic. You recently wrote an open letter to Elon Musk, and I believe it stems from, you know, Tesla started accepting Bitcoin as payment not long ago. In your letter, you asked Elon Musk to consider accepting uh, silver. Hey, what's up, Silver Stackers? Thank you so much for being here. This is Silver Slayer, and you just saw a snippet of an interview where the lady was talking about David Morgan sending a letter to Elon Musk telling him to buy physical silver. I mean, look at the title. Tesla needs silver, but where will Elon Musk get it? Elon owns Tesla, SpaceX, and Solar City. All require a lot of silver physical silver, but if Elon's more focused on Bitcoin and other projects, he's going to be screwed. I mean, really, think about if silver is $100, $200, and guess what? Mike Maloney sent Elon Musk a, a, a letter as well, telling him to buy physical silver, and Mike Maloney even does the math for Elon, telling him, if you don't buy it now, this is how much you're going to have to pay since you're talking about selling X amount of electric vehicles by the year 2030. We're going to go over the numbers, but first I want to share this situation with David Morgan. David Morgan is called the silver guru for a reason. He is very, very open, and that's why I love Mike Maloney, Ted Butler, David Morgan. You know, these guys understand the silver supply deficit and the reality with the silver shortage moving forwards in this new digital technological era and why everyone needs physical silver and how much opportunity and potential there is. I think just sparking the letter causes enough news and eyes on this situation that everyone else can also get the point, which is a brilliant idea. Just sending a letter to Elon is going to spark new sources to cover it, like the interview he's in, and this in return is getting the message out, almost subliminally. And he even mentions that right here. He says, Morgan doesn't know if Musk has seen the letter, but he thinks it's possible given the power of the internet. And I quote, my purpose was to bring awareness to him and everybody else, right? It's, and he even says it's not just him. It's anybody that's not in the club right now that's not already a part of Silver, right? And, and the most important part is that doesn't have a direct relationship with a refiner. That is a huge, huge point to look at because a lot of people are going to get in way too late, way too late. Imagine trying to pay premiums. Imagine these big tech companies trying to go out and, um, you know, find silver last second when it is, you know, a hundred plus dollars. We're going to check out another uh, article. But first, let's go into the tweet that Mike Maloney sent Elon, titled Buy Physical Silver. Mike Maloney just did a big interview praising his Tesla. And all of a sudden, Elon Musk publicly thanked Mike. So Elon actually did acknowledge David Morgan and Mike Maloney. So there is a good possibility that he's seen both of these letters that they've sent to him talking about buying physical silver. And by the way, if Elon Musk was buying physical silver, he would never tell anyone about it. At least I hope he doesn't because that would skyrocket the price. 
way too early. I mean, he tweeted four letters out, D-O-G-E, standing for Dogecoin, and shot Dogecoin up thousands of percent from that. So he probably is a secret silver stacker. So Mike sent an open letter to Musk urging him to buy silver bullion, stating, You said that Tesla plans to sell 20 million EVs by 2030. The company produced 430,400 units over the past four quarters. So that would be 19,569,600 more vehicles within nine years. Each EV uses up to 50 grams of silver. They are trying to cut it down to like 24 grams, but regardless, 50 grams, which totals 978.4 million grams. In other words, if you reach your 2030 sales goal, Tesla will need up to 31 million or 31.45 million ounces of silver per year. The cost to you at $25 is $786.25 million, but the cost at $50 is $1.57 billion, and at $100, it's a whopping $3.145 billion, and that's just your automobile business, not also talking about SpaceX or Solar City. Now, I do want to give it the fact that it wouldn't be 50 grams, you know, over the next decade. It could be half of that, but regardless, the numbers don't lie. It would be a lot more than what he would be paying now, so you better hope that he's paying or, or buying silver right now because the cost of production for Tesla would skyrocket, meaning it would cost more. So what do you think about that? Do you think that Elon saw that letter? Do you think that Elon is a secret silver stacker, just not admitting it publicly to keep the price down? And also, I did remember Elon mentioned when he also talked about Bitcoin that he was also because because first off let me give some context when Elon announced Bitcoin he said he's he's um putting all of his fiat into other assets he's not keeping any money in the dollar so he mentioned Bitcoin but he also did mention gold but I think when he mentioned gold it wasn't physical um it, it was you know digital gold but anyways uh, I wanted to share this paragraph because this is so telling and this is exactly why i love david morgan because he understands the shortage and moving forwards with the green new deal mm -hmm. check this out first on the agenda are cryptos a magical creation exempt from all the known market forces david believes that fibonacci will have his revenge a major retracement is inevitable then we discussed his open letter to Elon Musk urging him to buy silver. Our solar clean energy future depends on it. There's not enough silver in the world to switch over to solar and green, but that won't stop the dreamers. Let me read that again. Let me read that again. And this is David Morgan, the silver guru. David Morgan from the Morgan Report. Listen what he just said. There's not enough silver in the world to switch over to solar and green, but that won't stop the dreamers. But everyone calls me crazy for talking about this on my channel. But David Morgan can say it. Maybe because they didn't know David Morgan said it, and they just think I'm saying it. And since I'm a YouTuber, I hold, you know, I, I hold no legitimacy, right? Even though I'm the one doing research daily for hours in my office. You know, this is so real, and people are going to get a huge wake-up call. And hopefully the big tech companies, the people that are actually going to need the silver, not just want the silver, are paying attention. Like he said earlier in the other article, hopefully you have a, a direct source to a refiner, because if you don't, you are screwed. Solar panels only last for 10 years, and then you need them to be replaced. Windmills aren't lasting the 20 years as expected. Social media has distorted reality and brainwashed the masses. Everything nowadays is based upon emotion. Under the current technological conditions, our green energy future isn't going to happen now or in the future. Just wait for precious metals to realize their true value. And that's when I talk about $100 silver by the year 2025, 2026, because I think by then, people are going to realize silver's true value. 
By then, you won't be able to sweep it under the rug. By then, everyone will know it. We already see Comex vaults being wiped clean. Comex vaults are emptied. They're taking, they're still trying to fill orders from two years ago. I, I just made a video covering that. It could be even sooner. The silver, the, the reality of the silver shortage could be happening sooner than what I originally thought, which was around 2025, 2026, when I talk about triple digit silver. But regardless, if it's 2026 or sooner, it's going to come out. You cannot manipulate the price, you know, spoofing even what JP Morgan does trying to keep the price down or rig it or manipulate it. That type of, of uh, money can never, could never hold down this, the reality of silver's true value. And like he says, just wait for precious metals to realize their true value. I like how he also says everything is based upon emotion. Under the current technological conditions, our green energy future isn't going to happen now or in the future. Imagine Joe Biden coming out and saying the Green New Deal has to be put to a halt because we don't have enough silver. Silver. Silver is the reason global warming is still going to happen. Silver is the reason climate change is still here. Silver is the reason that Teslas or EVs have to be limited or put to a halt. Silver is the reason. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine what that would do to the price. David Morgan gets it. All these other articles I cover where these guys are saying people that, that, that say that there's a silver shortage clearly are delusional or they don't know what they're talking about. Those people don't know what they're talking about. Those are the people that don't know what they're talking about. It's us that do the research, that look at the numbers, that understand the market. Just like David Morgan. He's called the silver guru for a reason because he understands it and he sees ahead. Just like me. We're visionaries. We're not looking at the market right now. We're looking at where the market will be in 10 years, applying the information given to us in a logical manner. And that's what investors do. Investors make strategic decisions based off information. Gamblers throw money at the wall, hope it sticks with the odds against them. Odds highly against them. Investors tweak the information and use it to our advantage so the odds are with us. Right? It, it just it makes sense. One plus one equals two, like I always say. You can try to make it equal three. But it's not going to equal three. You can talk about why it should equal three or why it would equal three. But one plus one is never going to equal three. So anyways, you know, what do you think about all this? Also, what do you think um, about the Mike Maloney tweet? I want to read some of these comments. And by the way, if you don't follow me on, on, um, on Reddit, go check me out. I post my videos on there. Also, go follow me on Instagram as well. Um, but some of these comments, El all Elon has to do is acknowledge silver and it's mooning. True. And then this guy says rising silver prices is the last thing Elon wa wants. And exactly, exactly, that is exactly what is happening right now. You know, and, and look, this is exactly what I was thinking. Tesla and other manufacturers have a vested interest in keeping the price down. If he could just hold off until I get paid so then I can buy more before it moons, that'd be great. That's funny. Um, and, and, and you know, it, it's it's exactly, I mean, uh, I'm just reading all these. Um, so uh, let's read it. Okay, so this guy says you can read it differently. Musk wants to sell 20 million Teslas per year in 2030, currently at... 0.5 million per year. So from the year 2030, Tesla will build 19.5 million extra cars per year, and you would need those 31 million out. That's a weird way to look at it, but I guess I get what he's saying. Um, but regardless, uh, you know, regardless, going back to what David Morgan said, I mean, he says it just, you know, perfectly. Says it perfectly, and I love this part where he also mentions not only that we don't have enough. But that won't stop the dreamers. And solar panels only last 10 years. They need to be replaced. Windmills aren't lasting the 20 years as expected. What about 5G towers? 
What about EVs? There's so many different things that um, that are going to be needed to replace that are going to be thrown away in landfills. And by the way, I also made a video talking about how um, you know the, these um, solar panels are getting thrown away in landfills and are actually contaminating the groundwater. And it's funny enough because the silver that's in those solar panels would actually be purifying the groundwater to some extent since silver purifies water. It has antimicrobial properties. You know, you drop silver in water, it purifies it. You drop silver in milk, it keeps milk fresh longer. Regardless, all the other stuff in, in all that technology, it is contaminating the groundwater, um, which is a, another sign of the Green Revolution, this Green New Deal that everyone thinks is going to save the planet is actually a lot more sinister at play um, and a lot more unrealistic than people think. And that is because there's not enough silver. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Go check out the video I made earlier today talking about the possibility of silver getting banned. It is a good possibility that the COMEX could collapse since the vaults are already emptied and we haven't really entered a true demand cycle yet that's, that's expected over the next couple of years. So who knows? Silver's been banned before. Why wouldn't it be banned again, especially when you look at, you know, the circumstances and the severity that it is, that you know, that's at play today. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.